Good morning, students. Let's learn today. Represent the rational number on a number line. Okay, you have learned to represent natural number on a number line, whole numbers on a number line, integers on a number line, and rational numbers on a number line. So let's revise how to represent the rational number on a number line. Already you have learned this concept in previous year. In seventh standard, this concept already you have learned. Now let's revise this concept again. Okay, so representation of rational number on the number line. Now this given number is four upon nine. Given number is four upon nine. Four upon nine means four of nine. Four of nine. Four upon nine means four of nine. So what we have to do? We have to make nine equal parts. What we have to do? We have to make nine equal parts. See now here I will represent the zero. Four upon nine. This is positive numbers. Means what we do? It will come to the right side of zero. Okay, so four upon nine means what we are going to do? Nine equal parts. Denominator is nine, so nine equal parts. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is denominator here? Nine. So nine equal parts we have to do. So this nine one nine that is. One. See, this is zero and this is one. So, in between zero and one, we have to make nine equal parts. Understood, everyone? In between zero to one, we have to make nine equal parts. Now, this first part will be the one upon nine. Total parts are nine, so first part will be the one upon nine. Second part, two upon nine. Third part, three upon nine. This fourth part is four upon nine. This fifth part is five upon nine. This sixth part is six upon nine. This seventh part is seven upon nine. This eighth part is eight upon nine. And this ninth one part is nine upon nine. Nine upon nine means only one. See, nine upon nine. Nine divided by nine. What you are getting? One. See, you are already have written one. So these are the nine equal parts we got. See, first part is one upon nine. Second is two upon nine. Third is three upon nine. Fourth is four upon nine. Fifth is five upon nine. Sixth part is six upon nine. Seventh part is seven upon nine. Eighth part is eight upon nine. And ninth part is nine upon nine. That is one. Okay. So now what it is ask is the question representation of fractional number on the number line. Now this number we have to show on this number line. So where it will come this number? It is already explained. Now see, this is one upon nine, two upon nine, three upon nine. So this it will come here on the number line. Four upon nine. Four upon nine. Where it will come on the number line? Here it will come. Fourth part is four upon nine. Understood, everyone? Now see. Next question. Minus seven upon four. Minus seven upon four. What is the question? Minus seven upon four. Now, where this number will come on the number line? See, it is negative. Means obviously it will come to the left of zero. It will come obviously left side of zero on a number line. See, minus seven upon four means obviously it will come left side of zero. Now, what I will do? So now, what I will do? I will write zero here. Okay. Zero I will write here and we will write these numbers left of zero. Now total parts are four. See denominator is four. So see here we have to make four equal parts. One, two, three, four. You can use your scale and you can take proper measurement, equal measurement. See one, two, three, four. This is fourth part. That is what it will get minus one. See these numbers are left of zero. Left side of zero means negative integers. Okay, so it will come minus one. See, I will show how it is minus one. See this number is minus one upon four. How many equal parts we have done? Four equal parts. Okay. Okay. So this number will come minus two upon four. This number will come minus three upon four. This number will come minus 
four upon four. But what we want minus seven upon four. Minus four upon four means one. See minus four upon four. Four ones are four. Four ones are four. That is minus one. So this number, this it is minus one. But we want minus seven upon four. So seven. Yes. Still. So still we have to draw the lines. We have to take equal measurement, equal distance. See from here to here. Ten is 
these are the rational numbers. But now, in between whatever numbers are there, 31 upon 100, 32 upon 100, 33 upon 100, 34 upon 100, 35 upon 100, till 69 upon 100. These are the rational numbers between these two rational numbers. So that number also it comes in between these two rational numbers. Understood? So suppose if I will write 31 upon 100, 32 upon 100, so on up till 69 upon 100. So these are the rational numbers between these two rational numbers. These are the rational numbers between these two rational numbers. So that number it comes, so these all the numbers comes in between 3 upon 10 and 7 upon 10. Understood? We can, we, we cannot say the definite rational number. So in between these two numbers, we are getting maximum rational number say 31 upon 100, 32 upon 100, 33 upon 100, 34 upon 100 till 69 upon 100. We got the rational numbers. So the numbers which you got first 4 upon 10, 5 upon 10, 6 upon 10 that are also rational numbers between these two rational numbers. But these are also the rational numbers between these two rational numbers. How it came understood everyone? So we cannot say the definite. Okay. Now let's solve example 1. Write any 3 rational numbers between minus 2 and 0. Now see here I am writing minus 2 and 0. If you will observe minus 2 and 0 in between which number you are getting? Only minus 1 but it is asked here to find any 3 rational numbers. Okay. So for that what we have to do? See here what we will do? Minus 2 right here, see, and here I have written 0. We have to find the rational numbers between minus 2 and 0. Between numbers we have to find. Okay, now here it is minus 2. There is no denominator means 1. Here also there is no denominator means 1. We have to find any 3 rational numbers. Okay, so you can multiply for denominator by 4 by 5. For denominator, if you will multiply by 6, you will get maximum number of rational numbers. If you will multiply by 10, you will get maximum numbers of rational numbers between these two numbers. Okay. So, minus 2 upon 1, I have multiplied by 10 for the denominator. Same way, I will multiply for the numerator also by 10. Here also, 0 upon 1. I will multiply for, we should make the denominator same. Means denominator we have to make same. Here it is 1 and here it is, here also it is 1. If I have multiplied here by 10, here also I will multiply by 10 only. Okay. So multiply by 10. If I have multiplied for denominator by 10, I will multiply for numerator also by 10. So what you got here? Minus 2 into 10. Minus 20 upon 10 and here we got 0 upon 10. Now see minus 20 upon 10 and 0 upon 10. See we got the denominator set. We should find an LCM. Okay now here only one it was denominator it was same. But so no need to find different values. So we can take any number for to multiply for the denominator. Means maximum numbers will get of rational numbers. So 10, 10. Now in between minus 20 and 0 we will get maximum numbers of rational numbers. What that numbers will get? See, this is minus 20 upon 10. First number what you will get minus 19 upon 10, minus 18 upon 10, minus 17 upon 10, minus 16 upon 10, minus 15 upon 10. This way, up till where you will write? Up till 0 upon 10. Okay, up till 0 means minus 14 min upon 10, minus 13 upon 10, minus 1 upon 10 and 0 upon 10. If you will, now you will say that it is as minus 2 upon 1 and minus 2 and 0. If you will do the lowest term for this, minus 20 upon 10, what you will get? 10 to the 10, 10 to the 20. And if you will do the lowest term for this, again you got minus 2 and 0. See minus 2 and 0 you got. 
Thank you.